Hi friends! Today I'm super excited because we are going to be doing something a little bit different. As you can see in front of me, I do have an LOL Surprise Movie Magic Capsule that we are going to be unboxing in the video. However, this is going to be the only thing I'm opening today because this is more of a, not story time, but some information I wanted to get you guys as soon as possible. So we're going to be talking about Walmart pricing and if they are trying to pull a scam or not. I went to Walmart this morning at 7 in the morning and normally I don't film these videos in real time and put them up straight away but that's what's different about this video. This video is being filmed on December 18th and hopefully I can get this edited and uploaded either the 19th or 20th but no later than Monday. I will have to put screenshots of the receipt from my app on the screen once we actually go into the details because I had breakfast that morning and that's what the receipt looks like. But I will show you that on here it does show the date 12 18 2021 at 7:45 and 49 seconds in the morning. So we will go ahead and start with this unboxing and then we'll go into the details on why I wanted to make this video. If you want to see this open and you want to hear about the Walmart pricing information I have for you, let's go ahead and get started. So for this, this is one of the latest releases of the LOL capsules that they have out right now. It is going along with all of the movie magic stuff. So there's like four OMG dolls, a big playset, and stuff like that. I'll put up some pictures and this is the capsule that came along with it. And I only picked up one just because I was in Walmart and I was looking for new things to buy because I'm unfortunately late to the Christmas shopping process. So I went ahead and picked this up so we could go ahead and unbox it together. So we'll go ahead and get that started. She is adorable. So I was figuring that we got the one on the front of the packaging just because when I first pulled out the little glasses, they looked familiar. And in fact, it looks like we do have her. So really, really cute. I was hoping to get someone other than her because I have seen quite a few people unbox this one specifically, but I absolutely love her. I love her hair. I love her outfit. She is absolutely adorable. So we'll go ahead and get her dressed and then we'll be right back. Alright friends, there we have everything all set up. We will go ahead and take a look at the checklist now since we didn't do it before. And then we'll go ahead and talk about everything that we got. So on the back of the checklist, there is just this little script that you would fill in using secret messages you find on the packaging. And then on the front, it shows you every doll that you can get. 
Again, this is the LOL Surprise Movie Magic. There are popular, which are commons, fancy, rare, and ultra rare. And there are only two categories. We have the cast and the crew. So we have people like the slate tech, the makeup artist, the boom mic person, and up here we just have your breakout star, Miss Perfect, Silver Screen, stuff like that. So very, very cute names. And it looks like we did get the costume designer, which would explain her super fancy hair and outfit and all of that good stuff. And it does say that she is a fancy. However, I would think that she's like one of the most common because everyone I've seen unbox these, even if they were sent them or they bought them themselves, have gotten multiple of her. So that's that. Other than that, this is super cute. I love the checklist. I love the colors. Let me see if the 3D glasses do anything on here because it's got the two-tone colors, but yeah, it does. It'll just bring out the side that the blue could see. So then like you saw, I did only get the blue piece in this set only. I believe the ultra rare comes with both pieces. So we only got the blue half. Now we'll go ahead and look at the accessory that she came with. Without even knowing what she was, I knew that this was a body form because I love watching things like Project Runway and stuff like that. So I knew this was a dress form. And then this, I wasn't sure what it was, but I'm assuming it's supposed to be a dress that is getting measurements taken on it. Theoretically, she could wear it, but since she's the costume designer, it's supposed to go on the dress form, which I think this is an absolutely adorable accessory because most of the time when you get LOLs, the only accessory is the bottle and what can you do with it? But this adds an extra level of play, which I absolutely love. I didn't find any imperfections on her at all. This was probably one of the best that I've opened so far. The only thing I would say is her outfit fits a little bit weird like if you have her like this and it comes together up front in the back it's not but then if you like push it down it looks I mean you could have her dressed however but I kind of want it to look normal but she is absolutely adorable I love her glasses if you've seen any of my lol videos any of them that come with glasses I am in love with the lol glasses accessories they are adorable the only thing I wish is these were more clear than like a foggy kind of plastic but still absolutely adorable and they fit on her ears like gloves guys like it has been so long since I've had an lol doll where the glasses fit her and don't fall off so I am 1000% happy with that and I was just smiling the whole time once I put them on they were just snatched on her girl and I absolutely love it. So that is everything. I love the doll. I think I may pick up one other one just to try to get a cast member. I didn't necessarily want her because like I said, I've seen so many people open her. I really wanted the makeup artist because I love her hair. She's absolutely adorable. And I really wanted silver screen. But now looking at the checklist completely, I wouldn't mind actually getting any of them. Like they're so adorable. I think this one was an actual good pick of the little dolls because a lot of the times they just reset cycle the dolls into a new series but this one even if they are the same they've kind of been given a makeover overhaul which I absolutely love so that'll be it for the doll portion if that's all you were here for thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it make sure to leave any comments down below let me know what you thought if you like this series if you continue to do the tots because I know a lot of people don't let me know your thoughts don't forget to subscribe because like I said I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick up another one and other than that thank you so much for watching if you want to know the Walmart information we're gonna go ahead and go into that next so definitely keep on watching we're just gonna go ahead and use her as a little bit of a background because like I said my moldy receipt is not gonna look pretty I will go ahead and throw up the screenshot of the receipt but we're gonna go ahead and go into the details you can't see much on this at all. However, I did purchase a few things. I purchased two Lego products, which I can show you real quick. My sister's really into Lego and her birthday is January 4th. So I wanted to get a few things just as little gifts for her besides the big stuff I'm getting. So her favorite two Lego things right now are Harry Potter and Mario. Mario is her biggest set. So I went ahead and picked this one up and these are just really cute accessory sets and these are about $5 each. And then this is the the Super Mario one that I picked up and they go along with that whole Mario line which she has a whole
whole little town going. So that's what I went in there to pick up. I went into Walmart to see if there was anything I could pick up for her birthday. And then I happened to see that they had a huge section of like the Christmas area. Prior to going to Walmart, I went online and I was seeing what was on rollback, what was on clearance and all that stuff. And if it was at my local Walmart, everything that I was looking for, I was like, okay, it says it's in stock. Let me go check. So I took my sweet little self down to Walmart, went inside, found the two Lego things I was looking for. And then I was like, let me just look for something to unbox on the channel. And I saw that they had a huge display of LOL. I'll actually insert a picture of the newest ones that I found that I've yet to see anyone talk about. I really wanted to pick one up but they were $16.83 before tax. And right now the LOL BTWs are $17 before tax. So I was like one more dollar and I could get a bigger doll. So I was like, I won't get that, but I'll definitely keep my eye on for a sale. And they're really, really cute. They're, I believe they're just new packaging of pre-existing hair goals, LOL tots, but I could be wrong. So anyway, I was distracted by all the new stuff and then I saw that they had a whole bunch of these surprise capsules and I was like, okay, let me take my phone out. Let me start scanning, price checking, all of that stuff so I know what the deals are and where I'm gonna get the best bang for my buck. I went ahead and did that. So many of them were only like 50 cents cheaper, a dollar cheaper, nothing really too good. And then I came across these beauties and I was like, well, they're brand new, they won't be on sale. And I think they retail for $11, like $10.99, $10.98 something like that right before 11 before tax so i was like let me just scan it and this one came up seven dollars and 12 cents and i was like girl let me put a few in my basket so i go up to the register self-checkout and i'm scanning i only have my four items and i was like you know what let me just get one let me see if i like it so i scanned the legos first because i know i'm gonna get those for sure and then i was like let me think about her so I finally scan it and on the screen pops up that this is retailing for $15 and something. And like I said, I will put up the screenshot. And I was sitting there thinking to myself, that is more than retail price. Like, no ma'am. So I took my app again and I scanned it and it showed that the price value at the location I was at was $7.12 before tax. So I called the little lady over to come help me to avoid the price and put the correct price. And she was like, I cannot do that. She's like, I cannot do that. We're selling what the price is that it's being scanned. We cannot change the price. And and I was like, excuse me, I know for a fact, I've talked to a manager here at this location before that Walmart, the entirety of the Walmart corporation price matches to walmart.com. It can't be one of those third party sellers on Walmart. It has to be distributed and shipped by Walmart LLC. And they will price match as long as it's not sold out at the location you're standing at. The only thing they will not do is price match from one store to another. So if you're at a store and something's $20 and a store two miles over, it's $10, they can't do that. Just go to the other store. So I was like, this is the price. And I, I was like, let me do it. I'll show you on my phone that I'm not lying. So I brought it up, scanned it, and it says price at purchase 712. And she was like, I, I don't think so. I'll have to do it myself. I'll have to do it on my phone. I was like, okay, girl, go ahead. So then she brings it up and I see it pop up right away. 712 at checkout. And she's just standing there looking at me. And I was like, so that's the price I'm supposed to pay. I was like, I'm not paying $15. And I told her that's not even retail. The app showed you what retail was. It had the retail price scratched out and then 712. Again, all those screenshots will be on the screen. And she told me, she was like, well, I cannot void it. We have to charge what it's ringing up. And I was like, ma'am, I'm more than willing to speak to your manager if you can go get him or her for me. And she was like, no, it's fine. I'll just do it this once. But I am telling you that we're charging what we're charging for the holiday season. Now, I'm not gonna say anything that's probably what they were told i've worked retail before and you know you're given instructions that you're given do i know if they're doing this on purpose do i know if all locations know if they do price match to their online retailer i don't know but what i wanted to come on here and tell you guys is that i just can't believe that a few days from christmas i saw so many people in that walmart at six in the morning with me buying baskets full of toys not even questioning the price i would have paid almost five to six dollars more than retail price if I hadn't price checked it before and I would have been willing to be like well I really want it it's a holiday gift to myself I want to open it I'll just pay it and that's when I felt like I had to come on here and say something because I saw like I said hundreds of parents with baskets full of toys that could potentially be paying more than retail so that's why all of my videos from day dot have preached to use your app to use your resources make sure you're checking what they're retailing for online or from their original dis distributor make sure you're checking what the store price is saying before you get there make sure to compare it while you're in there and make sure to pay attention to the screen as you're checking out or the checkers checking you out because you can be saving shit ton of money or you can be being 
screwed out of shit ton of money. So that's all I wanted to say. I did end up getting it for $7.12 pre-tax. Again, all the receipts will be on the screen that way y'all could see that but this is just something I wanted to warn y'all about because it is only about four or five days till Christmas and I know a lot of people are doing last minute holiday shopping here towards the end so if anyone out there sees this video just know to be aware of the pricing I don't know if it's just happening at Walmart I haven't gone anywhere else because it's been so busy lately but definitely just check and keep an eye out on the prices use your app because that's going to tell you what it's supposed to be ringing up at at checkout based on the formulations and everything that Walmart has put out there or whatever has put out there. So other than that, I know that was a lot of talking. Normally I try not to do too much because this is just supposed to be fun, but I wanted to make sure that everyone is going to be able to enjoy the holidays because like I said in many of my videos, the reason I buy things on clearance when they're going out of distribution, when they're like no longer available and you're getting it for 10 cents seven years later is because not everyone can afford to buy things full price and let alone buy things at a markup sale. So like I said, just be careful. Make sure to stay safe. I know the world's getting a little bit crazy again, but it doesn't mean that you can't spend time with loved ones and be happy. Just be safe about it. Make sure you're getting good deals. Look for those coupons. Look for next day shipping. Look for all of that good stuff. And hopefully everyone enjoys the holidays. Other than that, I will try to be coming out with more videos. I meant to get this video up sooner. It's just been a crazy time. But other than that, make sure to leave any comments down below. Let me know if this is happening anywhere you've been shopping at. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. It does help me out a lot. Also make sure to subscribe to the channel as well as turn on that notification bell. If you can hear any barking in the background, I am so sorry. Someone's delivering a package and my dogs are going crazy. So I'll just go ahead and end it here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye friends.